Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well and staying safe. If you are new here, welcome, my name is Rana. So today I wanted to share with you guys how I would go about packing my planner as well as stationary supplies when I travel. So if you would like to see how I go about doing that, I hope that you would consider sticking around and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is figure out what are the inserts that I want to take with me on my trip. In order to, um, you know, figure that out, I will take a look at my monthly routine. Okay, so I do have my monthly routine printed on a sticky note. I do have a video showing how I do that, which I'll link for you guys in the description box below. So my monthly routine is basically my guide that helps me to um, get organized for the month. So... The reason why I want to take a look at that and why this is important is, let's say for instance that I'm traveling at the end of August and that uh, I will be there for the beginning of September, which means that I want to ensure that I have all the inserts that um, I need for September so that I can still plan while I'm on my trip. Okay, so for example, um, you know, according to my monthly routine, I want to ensure that I have the insert uh, or the monthly insert for the corresponding month. So if I'm traveling in August, I want to be sure that I have the monthly insert uh, for September so that I can plan for September while I'm on my trip. Now, um, the monthly insert that I'm using is a month on one page from a shop called Elmon Paper Co. As always, I will link all the shop names in the description box below for you guys. So that won't be a problem for me because I do have all my monthly inserts um, for the end of the year or up to the end of the year. So that I am good to go with. The next um, insert that I want to be sure that I have is my weekly insert. So when it comes to my weekly inserts, I add them in one month at a time. So right now I've got weekly inserts just for the month of August. Now these weekly inserts are from Elmon Paper Co. As always, I do have a discount code, which I'll link for you guys down below as well. So the weekly inserts for September are something that I'll need to pack with me to ensure that I have them and that I can plan when I'm on my vacation. Okay. And then I've also got um, the budgeting um, inserts as well, which I change out every month. So when you go to my finance section, I do um, use the month on two page from Elmon Paper Co. to track anything that's going in or out of our bank account. And then I track or I budget what we will withdraw from each paycheck. So I will need to ensure that I have expense trackers um, for the month of September as well. Okay, so that is the first thing that I want to ensure is that I have all the inserts uh, packed and ready to go for the duration of my trip so that I don't leave anything behind and that I'm still able to plan while I'm on my trip. Now, one thing to note is that my inserts are printed, which means that they are already printed, cut, and uh, hole punched. So if you are using printable inserts, that's one thing that you want to be sure that you do before you uh, pack for your trip, that uh, you know, you've gone ahead, you've printed the inserts that you need, they're trimmed and hole punched so that you don't have to do that or take your trimmer and hole punch with you um, because who wants to do that when they're on vacation? So again, just ensuring that everything is good to go so that when you're on your trip, all you have to do is add those inserts to your planner. All right, now in order to determine what are the stationary supplies that I will need to take, I will need to take a look at my monthly, weekly, and daily uh, inserts so that I can see what are some of the items that I use so that I can ensure that I take those with me. So let's start off with my uh, monthly insert. So you'll notice that I use a lot of dot stickers um, in my monthly insert. So if I go to my key, which I have printed on a sticky note as well, you will see that I have a color for no school, a color for when my husband is off, and then a color for when I do a collab on YouTube. So I have already gone ahead and marked off um, all the days that my kids have off of school. And the fact that my husband is off would normally mean that you know he's with us on vacation and I won't have to worry about any collabs when I'm on my trip, which means that I won't have to take any dot stickers with me so I don't have to worry about that. I can, um, you know, leave those at home. Okay, now moving on to my weekly inserts. 
So when it comes to my weekly inserts, all the stickers that I use when I plan for my week are actually already in my planner, just over here in this back pocket. So first off, we have these uh, highlighted script stickers from a shop called Planner Fluent. I do have a discount code, which you'll find down below as well. So she also uh, customizes these stickers for you. I had her customized weekly review. And as you can see, they come in different colors as well. Okay. I also use these um, mini dot stickers from Paper Panda. Then I've got some icon stickers from the planner spot. Some transparent dew drops from a shop called Top Paper Co. And then I use these canceled stickers. They are from a shop called Honey Inked. A friend actually sent these to me, so I'm not sure, um, you know, if they still carry these stickers or not. But um, I, I use these when I have to cancel an appointment. And then I write down as well why the appointment was canceled in my weekly insert. Okay. So again, you know, I don't have to pack any of my stickers because they are already packed in my planner in the back pocket. So, you know, that's nice. I know I'm not going to forget anything because all the stickers are already with me. So they are good to go. Now, continuing with my weekly insert, you'll notice that I have lines uh, going down. And the reason why I have that is because I split my day into appointments, chores, and then to-dos or tasks other than chores uh, over here on the right column. So in order to make those lines, I use this uh, clear uh, ruler from Kate Spade. Okay, so I wanna ensure that I take that with me. So moving on to the highlighters that I use in my weekly insert, it's these two over here. So we've got the uh, mild liner, double-ended, it's in the brown color. So you've got the thick, point on one end and then the fine tip on the other end. Then we have the famous uh, Tombow brush pen in 942. So this is double ended as well. You've got the brush pen on one end and then the fine point on the other end. Okay. And then moving on to the pens that I use in my planner. So I use both of these. I use the Sarasa um, to draw the lines. This is the Sarasa Dry Air Fit Grip 0.4. It's from a shop called Cloth and Paper. And then to actually write in my planner, I do use the uh, Pilot Friction 0.5. Uh, this pen is erasable because I make a lot of mistakes, so I love using erasable pens in my planner, especially in my um, finance or budgeting section. So absolutely loving the Pilot Friction. So that does it for my weekly insert. And then when it comes to daily planning, it's this, it would be the same setup as my um, weekly insert. So I would just use the same uh, supplies that uh, are ready to go or ready for packing. So that takes care of the monthly, weekly, and daily planning. So moving on, something else that I would want to take with me are these transparent um, sticky notes. So these over here I'm using as page flags or page markers. And what they tell me is that uh, there is something that I need to do on this page. This insert needs to be updated. Okay, so for example, this uh, daily schedule needs to be updated as soon as my kids start school. We need to come up with a new schedule. This, I need to update the books I want to read. So these are uh, transparent and matte uh, sticky notes or tabbed sticky notes from cloth and paper. So you've got the transparent as well as the matte. Okay, so I am using these as page flags right now because the page flags that I normally use in Espresso are uh, sold out and I wasn't able to get any, so I'm just using these as um, page flags for now. So that is basically everything that I would want to pack with me. So what I would use for a pencil case is this one over here from Kohl's or from uh, Indigo here in Canada. I will link it down below for you guys. So what I love about this is the fact that it's very compact. So you'll notice that it's not very wide. It doesn't have a, you know, a wide base. So it doesn't take up a lot of room in my bag, which I really like. 
And the nice thing is everything fits in here that I need. So for example, and this is why I love using a personal size planner. I get asked all the time why I love personal. It's portable. I can carry it anywhere I want. And the nice thing is, you know, the extra inserts that I will need for September fit beautifully inside of the pencil case. So it can't get any better than that. So everything again fits nice and neatly in this pencil case. Now, this is how I would pack if I was going to visit my parents. But, uh, you know, if I was going to pack and I only had, uh, you know, limited space in my bag and I wasn't able to take this or I wanted to condense even further, then I can also do that. Because, um, as you guys noticed, when it came to the stickers, I already have all the stickers that I need inside of my planner. So again, these just sit nicely in the back pocket. Um, you know, you'll notice I didn't pack any stickers in here because I have the stickers I need for my weekly planning. I also have the stickers that I use when it comes to budgeting. So these stickers over here are from Paper Panda. So I store them in this credit card holder from Filofax. Um, which I purchased from Amazon. So those, again, are the stickers that I use. So if I'm doing budgeting on my trip, I already have the stickers that I need. So again, you know, it's really just taking advantage of the real estate in your planner and setting it up in a way that's very functional. So yes, this is decorative, but at the same time, you know, it really saves uh, on time when I'm packing. I pretty much already have everything that I need. So it's a matter of, you know, just taking your planner and you're pretty much good to go. You'll notice even when it comes to sticky notes, I didn't pack any sticky notes. And the reason for that is because I've got some here in the front. I have the sticky notes that I use for um, budgeting just over here. I've got some in this um, pocket from Sissa V as well. And then I also have sticky notes, um, you know, on my page lifter. So, you know, again, that's just really setting up your planner in a way that's very functional so that you have everything you need with you at all time. Okay. So let's say that, you know, I wanted to condense even further and I couldn't take my pencil case with me for some reason. I just wanted to show you that at the end of the day, I wouldn't even really need that. So I can just put, um, you know, the extra inserts in the back. And when it comes to the ruler, again, because it is very thin, I can put it in the back as well. When it comes to my pens, I don't really need this one. I can leave that, can take this out, and I can put this in the pen loop so that it's with me and ready to go, um, you know, on my trip. So when I want to plan. And then when it comes to highlighters, this one marks or highlights the fact that I'm doing cardio. Um, you know, usually when I'm on vacation, I'm getting so much exercise enough as it is because we're out and about, we're traveling, we're running around. So I probably wouldn't worry about this highlighter. I would probably take this one with me. This one I use to mark anything unexpected or if I had any symptoms for my chronic illnesses. So for example, yesterday I had some IBS symptoms. So I just marked that off and highlighted the fact that, you know, this just tells me that I wasn't able to get my chores done because of IBS. So again, I would take this with me. Now, how would I put this in my planner? Well, there are a few ways. So I know that some people just do that. Okay, it's good to go. I can close my planner. That way, you know, I've got that with me. You can also use uh, pen loops like this one over here from Filofax. So it has adhesive on the back. And then you can just, you know, stick it on the back of um, a hard surface or something like that. And then you've got your uh, highlighter in the pen loop as well. If you don't want to put it in the rings like that. All right. And then when it comes to the uh, espresso page flags, again, you know, I can just take a few out and replace uh, this color with the espresso color if I really wanted to. Um, I can take some out and, you know, stick them on the back of my dashboard or something like that if I want. 
So, you know, again, it's really just being creative with, um, you know, how you want to use the space that's in your planner. And that way you have everything you need with you. If you can't take a pencil case for some reason, um, you know, I don't need it. So if I really wanted to, this is how I would uh, pack my, you know, stationary supplies. I have everything I need with me. My planner closes. I'm good to go. I'm ready to plan on my vacation. All right. And the way that I would actually uh, pack my planner is I normally just uh, would store it in the dust bag that it comes with. Now, if your planner doesn't come with a dust bag, another thing you can do is you can take a dust bag from one of your handbags. So this one is from my coach handbag. So I can just put my planner in there. And really, this just helps to protect your planner when it's in your bag. Um, now, if I'm traveling on a plane or anything like that, I, I never put my planner in my checked baggage. I always have it with me, you know, in my purse or my carry-on or something like that. So it's with me at all time. If I need to plan, you know, on the plane or in the airport, my planner is with me. And again, I have all the stationary supplies packed in here as well. So that is it, you guys. Um, I'm ready to go on my vacation. I'm ready to plan. So let me know down in the comment section, how would you guys normally uh, pack your stationary supplies? I would love to know. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.